So today we're going to be making this wine bottle holder. It's a relatively cool design. We've got a mitered cut on the bottom there, hole through the top, and when you put a wine bottle in there, it holds it steady. So if you want to know how I made it, then uh, stick around and I'll show you. So we're going to start by knocking an edge off of that piece of jarrah and here you can see I use a block plane just to knock off a burr that was giving me some dramas. We'll then run it through the table saw in two passes and that's just because of the thickness of the wood. And can you tell I didn't turn a dust collection on for this pass? Now I'm going to grab my sander and you could do this with a thicknesser or a jointer but I don't have either of those so I'm just going to give a few passes with my sander in its rotex mode and that knocks off quite a bit of material so that did its job and got nice and flat. Showing off the flip top table of the miter saw again. And this is exactly how long it takes me to set it up. That's not sped up or slowed down. That is really versatile, really easy to set up. And we'll connect up the dust collection. So we'll use the miter saw to trim this piece to length. So I figured with the three meters that I had, that 300 mil pieces would be excellent. That would give me enough kind of leverage when the bottle is sitting in the hole to make sure that it's stable, but also there's enough wood there that it looks nice. So to cut them, I simply moved the miter saw to a 30 degree bevel and then make my cut then reset the saw to 90 degrees and go from there. I just continued to repeat that until I had all the cuts. So now we'll mark it out. I figured about 100 mil from the top should do the trick and then go along and mark all of the bits out. So we'll grab that mallet that we made last time and a center punch and go along again and put a center punch over all of those marks that we just made. This will give the force of it something to locate. So to drill the hole, I grabbed a 35 mil force bit and you start off by drilling normally and then you slowly creep it backwards so then that hole is on a bit of an angle. And this means when you throw the bottle of wine in there, it will sit more or less horizontal. And now we'll stamp every one of them with the hot stamp that you see in the intros. And it's important to note that once you've stamped them, you need to give each of them a, a light sand because the stamp will slightly discolor the wood and sometimes you get the edges burning and so it's not as clear. So now I'll grab a half inch round over bit and we'll run that along each of the main corners and I'll also do a lap on the inside of that hole. And this will mean that it doesn't really matter what size the bottle is, if it's a long net bottle or if it's got a bit of a pattern to it, it should be able to sit nicely inside that hole.
So now we'll hit everything with 80 grit, 120 grit, and then finally 240 grit sandpaper. To finish it out, we'll hit each piece with two coats of wipe on poly, and that'll do it. So there you have it, a simple wine bottle holder. Let us know what you think and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.